Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi and Gredi. Welcome to Tech News episode 95. Today, IQ India confirmed that the IQ Z3 5G smartphone will break cover at 12 p.m. on June 8th in India. It will be debuting as the company's first Z brand smartphone in the country. The IQ Z3 5G is the first ever phone in India to feature a Snapdragon 768 mobile platform. Poco M3 Pro India launch date is on June 8th. The handset was originally launched in global markets last month. Poco M3 Pro specifications include a 6.5 inch Full HD plus 90 Hz display. It comes with a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset and a 48 megapixel triple camera and a 5000 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging. The smartphone maker, which went independent earlier this year, has confirmed that its upcoming device, the Honor 50 series, will be officially launched in China on 16th June. Earlier, the company had confirmed that the Honor 50 will come powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G processor. We expect the Pro variant of the smartphone to pack with the flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset. Honor Band 6 that was announced in China last November and went on sale globally on March will debut in India soon. This confirmation comes from Indian e-commerce giant Flipkart which set up a page for the smart band on its website. The Honor Band 6 packs a 1.47 inch AMOLED color touchscreen which is 148% larger than its predecessor's display. It's covered with 2.5D curved glass and the Band 6 is water resistant up to 50 meters and comes with a usual slew of health and fitness feature. And it has 10 professional Professional workout modes for make your own progress every day. The battery is about 180 mAh battery advertised to offer a 14 days of endurance but it is unlikely to have an NFC chip on board. The latest Android TV from Xiaomi is an Mi TV 4A 40 Horizon Edition as the name suggests that it brings a 40 inch panel with a 1920 into 1080 pixel resolution and a 60 Hz refresh rate. You can also get slim bezels all around and a 20 watt stereo speaker setup with DTS HD audio. Xiaomi Mi TV 4A Horizon will retail for 23,999 Indian rupees with first sale scheduled for today at 12 well noon local time. OnePlus Note CE 5G will come with a sleek and streamlined design and the launch date in India is set for June 10th. The phone is confirmed to come with a 6.43 inch AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate. It comes with a Snapdragon 750G chipset and a 64 megapixel primary camera and a 16 megapixel selfie camera and it also comes with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. OnePlus announced the OnePlus Watch as its first smartwatch at the OnePlus 9 series launch event in the late March. Since then, the company has rolled out two firmware updates and introduced two limited editions. Now, over two months later since its debut, the wearable is receiving its third firmware update. The OnePlus Watch B52 firmware updates add multiple workout modes. With a new edition, the brand claims that the total workout modes exceed 110 on its smartwatch. Additionally, the wearable also gets a marathon running function. OnePlus is conducting a survey on blockchain technology. The company is seeking user feedback on various cryptocurrencies, hinting at the launch of its own crypto wallet. This survey does indicate that the company is working on its crypto wallet and related application. There is no official word on the release of this wallet. China has developed its own artificial sun that uses nuclear fusion to generate clean energy as much as 10 suns. When fully active, the reactor is capable of reaching temperature 13 times hotter than our sun approximately 200 million degrees Celsius. Our sun maxes out about 15 million degrees Celsius. China's artificial sun experiment sets a new record by achieving plasma temperature at 120 million Celsius for almost 2 minutes. Dunzo on Tuesday announced that it is all set to pilot drone delivery of medicine under the Medicine from the Sky project launched by the Telangana government in collaboration with the World Economic Forum. The drone delivery system will focus on an end-to-end ecosystem for drone-based logistic transportation and will utilize the existing logistic network of the Telangana state to enable medical supplies in the different district. The delivery will be based on the central government's recent regulation policies for low-altitude airspace for drones and unnamed aerial vehicles. DOT is expected to ask Reliant Geo, Airtel, Vodafone Idea to conduct trials in the rural areas alongside urban centers. Besides, the telecom ministry announced that telecos should complete 5G trials in the next six months in the country. E-commerce giant Amazon is reportedly working to bring high-speed satellite internet service to India. The report said that the company will approach the government to discuss and specify of the move which includes authorization, modalities, permits, landing rights, and satellite bandwidth leading cost. Landing rights for downlinking signals of foreign satellites are received from the Department of Space and Amazon is apparently investing over $10 billion to build 30 to 36 low-Earth orbit satellite as part of Project Cooper, which is the name for its global space internet initiative. 
RBI on Monday asked banks NBFCs and payment system providers not to prefer to its earlier virtual currencies related circular that was issued in April 2018 and later aside by the Supreme Court in their communication to customers the latest directive comes against a backdrop of some banks and regulated entities citing the circular and cautioning customers against dealing in virtual currencies After a lot of disagreements over the new IT rules, WhatsApp has finally come up with the name called Parish Bilal as its grievance officer for India on its website. As per the WhatsApp website, users can contact Parish Bilal who is a grievance officer through a post box in Banjara Hills in Hyderabad, Telangana. The users who are looking to complain or share any concerns regarding the messaging app can write to grievanceofficer_wa@support.whatsapp.com. The email should have the electronic signature of the person. LG smartphone business has finally reached an important stage towards its demise. There is a report that says that South Korean tech giant on Monday stopped production of smartphones, marking the beginning of what could otherwise have been flourishing business against the likes of Apple and Samsung. This comes a week after LG announced to shutter its mobile phone business that was still reeling for heavy losses for over 6 years. Samsung has started the mass production of the peripheral components of the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 3. The new development suggests that the South Korean company could be planning to launch the Z Fold 3 in the next few months. AMD announced a host of new products today at Computex 2021. The first of these is the Radeon RX 6000M series mobile graphics, the company's latest and most powerful series of graphic processor for notebooks. The RX 6000M series currently includes the flagship RX 6800M GPU with 40 compute units and 12 GB of video memory. Earlier this year, South Korean tech giant Samsung announced that it will bring AMD graphics to its flagship Exynos processor. AMD CEO Lisa Su officially confirmed that the next flagship Exynos processor is going to use RDNA graphics. The company made this announcement at the company's Computex 2021 launch event today. As per the reports, a new GPU is going to arrive for the mobile devices for the first time and this will unlock some gaming features which will take smartphones gaming to the different level. Apple supplier Global Lighting Technologies is reportedly gearing up to begin shipments of mini LED display panel components for the next generation of MacBook Pro models in the third quarter of this year. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.